to uh, give some things a try and uh, just wanted to get a little bit of NetHack in when I had a chance. So I've been thinking about, you know, how to proceed. So the issue being that we're missing a few key tools here, uh, primarily levitation, secondarily uh, a ring of conflict, which would be really useful. And I have a bunch of stuff here in my stash. Um, so just like look at the number of rings I have. Um, these are all extra rings and I've not yet located a wand of polymorph. So I was sort of thinking about, you know, how to proceed. And I have this magic lamp, which I, I usually like to keep magic lamps as a permanent source of, of light. But it occurred to me that with the um, eyes of the overworld, you know, a magic lamp is really not of any use. So the idea is going to be to bless the magic lamp uh, and hopefully rub it and get a genie to come out and give us a wish. And if we get a wish, uh, then we will wish for a wand of polymorph and then start to polypile a bunch of this junk that we've collected with the hope that we're going to get these last pieces we need of our ascension kit. So that's the plan, um, and I mean, if we if we don't get a, a genie that gives us a wish, then we'll have to go to plan two. But uh, for now, we're hoping we'll take out a potion of holy water here, and we'll dip our magic lamp into it. All right, so now we have a blessed magic lamp. Um, so there's about an eighty percent chance that we get a wish app from this. Uh, let's take care of this where we're at first. And, you know, we're pretty good odds, but certainly not uh, guaranteed. So here we go. Wish me luck. And there we go. I'm, your, I'm in your debt. I'll grant you one wish. And here we go. I think we're just going to wish for a uh, blessed wand of polymorph and we'll be ready to go here we go marble wand and it's blessed um so i take out everything from our stash that we could possibly polypile so amulet of change definitely can go potentially um you know, these extra cloaks, magic cloaks can go, uh, can be polymorphed. So, you know, we don't really need, our robe is really going to be our primary um, cloak, I think, probably until the end game. Actually, this protection, cloak of protection would be what I would wear secondarily if we decide that there really are no spells worth casting. Uh, although we already have uh, haste self which is going to be very useful combined with jumping so i think probably we can polymorph that as well and the so the magical armor the only thing we're really looking for would be boots of levitation or water walking which would be um, something we could use at least in the short term to get through medusa's island uh, what else do we have here i think um like, for instance, these scrolls of teleportation, we can polymorph those just, just to see if we can get something better. Uh, spell books, we can polymorph those to see if we can get some, some of the spells which we really want. So I'll have to think about that a little bit. Um, so here's an extra book of sleep. Certainly we can get rid of that. Uh, slow monster is not terribly useful. Uh, drain life, we can polymorph that one. I think we decided that Detect Monsters is is really good at skilled level or above, but at basic skill uh, spell level, it's it's not terribly useful. It just gives you a, a, a quick view of the monsters on the level and doesn't actually let you track them over time. I would be interested in Detect Monster if it were uh, acted like a blessed scroll, uh, sorry, a blessed potion or the, the skilled spell because then you can track creatures over time and 
it augments our telepathy, which we're not going to be able to proc very easily, given that we're wearing the um, lenses, so the eyes of the overworld, and can't easily put a towel on to check out what dangerous creatures there might be on a given level. So detect food um, would be useful for training up divination, but I believe we've already gotten divination up to basic level. So now I think we can polymorph that one as well. Uh, cure sickness, likewise, we have a unicorn horn, so that's not terribly useful. We will want clairvoyance. I think that's a, a, a pretty good spell in certain cases. Haste self we want. Healing, maybe. Uh, remove curse is not terribly useful. Um, although I think we could probably hang on to it. Um, what else? Any potions we want to... I think potions we won't. And then all these rings. Um, definitely that's going to be our primary target for polymorph. We're going to try and get these uh, rings polymorphed into levitation or conflict. We're not going to polymorph any, any wands. And tools, yes. So we want to polymorph our extra magic tools with the idea that we might get some uh, might get some um, magic markers. I gotta pause for just one minute. I'll be right back. Okay, sorry, I'm back. Um, so all these tools, we're going to try and polymorph into magic markers. So like a figurine, uh, these unicorn horns, um, and the the bag of extra bag of holding. Let's see if we can carry all this in our inventory. Probably not. Probably too too many items. Yep. So we're gonna have to. Put some things into our bag to make enough room. So uh, put away some food. Um, put away, I don't know, some, some of these offensive wands. The pickaxe, the towel. Touchstone. See if that gives us enough room to get the rest of these rings and tools into our inventory. So, unicorn horns, bag of holding, and this figurine. Nope. Still up against our inventory limit. It's all those rings. So we can put away um, some more wands as well. Uh, lightning and, and death. Um, silver bell is not going to go into our bag. Um, what else can we put away? I guess uh, I don't like putting my escape items away just in case we end up needing them, but we're just polypiling for now. I think we'll be pretty safe. So we'll put away uh, digging in fire. Um, and our key and 
Oh, we have a blessed oil lamp. Um, obviously, we can put that away too. In fact, we can, we can probably just drop that. All right, so we're left with just a few tools here to pick up. That should do it. All right, so we're going to make some uh, piles here. Offer this while we're at it. And so we're going to make one, uh, one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Piles. Let's start with the tools. Actually, um, I think we'll... Magic markers are great, but I think we will prioritize the rings first. So I'll make a few piles of rings, which is kind of mixing them up. And hopefully... If there was a way to easily look at what materials these rings are made out of, that would be helpful um, without trying to cross-reference in our um, discovery list here. I'm not going to worry about it too much. I'll just try and mix up the types. So we'll do, uh, I don't know, three or four rings per pile. So one aggravate monster, one spare free action, one gain strength, uh, one invisibility. Another pile here. Uh, so free action, gain strength, polymorph, and our spare slow digestion. Here, um, we'll drop spare free action, stealth, sustainability, and warning. And here, we have uh, protection from shape shift uh, changers, stealth, sustainability, and we'll drop the amulet of change on top of that as well. Just in case, so that's four piles, so we have three more. We'll drop a few tools just in case we get these polymorphed as well. And that should be about it. So that's seven piles. All right, we'll go here. And we'll zap our uh, marble wand in that direction. All right, so we got um, a skeleton from, from one pile, which uh, just destroys everything in that pile, which is made out of bone. All right, let's see what we got, though. We got some rings that we haven't identified, which is great. And a couple more here. Unfortunately, leather armor. It's a little odd. I don't know why you got leather armor here. Oh, that might have been something that the skeleton dropped. Another couple of rings here. An amulet. Unicorn horn, oil lamp. And unicorn horn. All right. So we'll drop, um, let's replace some things here. We'll drop that extra bag of holding. One, two, three. Right, two things here. Let's drop um, a scroll of teleportation on top of that. Anything else? Oh, there's a ring of polymorph. Can you try again? We have one thing here. So again, let's drop one scroll of teleportation. And you could do a spell book too. It's a lot of paper. There are a couple of paper, paper items. If you summon a paper golem, then you end up losing everything made out of paper there. Um, it's all right. We'll, we'll drop one of our spell books here too. And here's just a brass ring. I'm going to pick that up. And here I'm going to put the figurine of the little dog. See if we can get a magic marker out of that. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six. So we can do one more pile. So we'll do one scroll of teleportation and a blessed spell book. I will want to identify all these pretty quickly. Um, so we can try and polymorph them again if they aren't uh, what we're looking for. We have one more unicorn horn to polymorph as well. 
So let's go. All right, no shuddering vibrations. So we got a spell book, a scroll identify sort of situation. It's sort of useful right now because we have a bunch of stuff to identify. Bag of tricks is still a magical tool. So we will keep that there. It can still be um, polymorphed into a magical tool like a magic marker. Um, enchant armor, we want that. Stain spellbook, we want that. Possibly. Scroll of magic mapping is actually probably something we want to start keeping. Uh, silver ring, we'll keep that. Uh, we got a, a normal tool out of our magical tool, so that's sort of the end of the line for that. Lockpick, again, uh, those non-magical tools are very unlikely to be uh, transformed into a magical tool. But we do have, let's see, one more unicorn horn here. We can try and polymorph. I'll make a new pile here out of, um, we'll do some spare. Uh, let's see. One scroll of teleportation, and we have duplicate ring. So we'll do one diamond ring, uh, one silver ring, which are duplicates. So that uh, we have three things there. Um, let's also drop another spell book on here. Here we have two rings. And we can also drop one more, oop, one more scroll and another spell book here. Drop a spell book. Is there anything else we are polymorphing? Oh yeah. So we can drop this elvish cloak and here's a bag of tricks. So I think. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. We'll probably do one more pile. Is there anything else we can, we can do um, our cloak protection here. I'm just gonna zap from here. It's, it's less, it gets less likely that you get piles polymorphed the further down the line you go. I think you're only guaranteed the first three piles. All right, another mundane tool. So that's the end of the line for that. Hawaiian shirt would have been nice if we didn't already have one. And uh, again, that's just considered basic armor. So it won't polymorph into boots of levitation or anything. Spell, spell, spell book of sleep we don't need. Diamond ring, we already have one of those. Uh, unidentified. Thin spell book, sounds familiar. Uh, do we already polymorph one of those? Yeah, we already have a thin spell book. Two scrolls of create monster, we can polymorph those, although I think I'll pick one up. We'll pick up the tiger eye ring. I don't think we have one of those. Nope. And here we have a gray spell book. Um, a, a, another tiger eye ring, we can polymorph that again. Scroll of food detection, we don't need. And the unicorn horns have not yet been polymorphed. So here's another three pile, three pile, here's a two pile. Um, we'll drop a spell book on that. Here's the last spell book. So it's one, two, three, five piles. Um, all right, let's give it a try. Okay, we have a copper, copper spell book. We have a clay ring, a thick spell book, a ruby ring, and a, a scroll of amnesia. Here's another scroll of enchant armor. We do want those. A couple more rings. Uh, some of these we have three ruby rings, so we can definitely polymorph some of those. Again, a couple mundane tools. So not lucky to get magic markers. Um, so we can make, do maybe one more. So we make another pile here of duplicate rings. Um, we can drop the cloak protection to
yeah, I think we're going to drop the, we're going to polymorph the cloak of protection. We're preferring the robe over it. And I can drop a scroll of create monster. And we have three ruby rings, so one of those can also be polymorphed. Here. Um, we can drop. Let's see, a ruby ring. Definitely running out of things to polymorph here. Let me just go back to this junk box here and see if I put away any uh, elvish armor. It would have been uh, cloaks or boots. A faded paw. That should be an elvish cloak. Um, that's it. Yeah, so I'm afraid that's it. I wonder if a lodestone is uh, would polymorph into like a luck stone or something. We don't need it. I'm just curious. Um, the ruby ring we is this extra. We're just gonna drop the faded pall on top of here, and this will probably be it in terms of our until we identify things. So abandon mail, unfortunately. Um, drop that just until I can clear up some inventory. A topaz ring, scroll identify. Uh, copper spellbook. We're gonna put into this box here. Put away all these um, whistles and lock picks and oil lamps that we've created. Um, also, we can put away the Hawaiian shirt, spare Hawaiian shirt, the leather armor. And oh, we have, we have a spare uh, duplicate spell book, duplicate ring. Let's do some identification here. Uh, cloak protection and banner mail. Put the banner mail away. And what are we left with? That's just, I think everything just maintains the same level of blessedness or cursedness as it was before you polymorph it, but we will go ahead and, and identify all these by dropping them in the altar. And then we will try and identify them with the identify scrolls. All right, so we have two Ankar scrolls of identify and anything else? We could write some if we needed to. Should I leave any in my stash? No. So the first thing we'll do is we'll dip, we'll make those identify scrolls blessed. And then we'll read it to try and get lucky here and identify everything. No, we can start with the amulet. ESP is interesting, actually. Um, again, just as a replacement for telepathy. Searching, we don't need because we have that innately. A hunger, of course, is not good. All right, we got to read another scroll identify. Yep, still not lucky. Teleportation. Um, teleportation with teleportation control is good. And we've got teleportation teleport control as well. But that said, I'm, I'm not likely to take off my uh, ring of free action for that. Shock resistance we don't need. So do we write some identify scrolls here? Well, for one thing, we can just put some rings on. These are all uncursed. So let's do that before we waste uh, more resources. We'll take off our 
slow digestion ring for a minute, and we'll put on all these rings just to see if any of them. So that's on a uh, ring of adornment. Uh, let's see. This one doesn't identify. Topaz is levitation, so excellent. That was a one of the primary thing we really wanted to get, and so we got two of those. Um, searching shocks. Okay, uh, wooden ring. I wonder if there's a way to figure out conflict. All right. So we want to make sure we have charging for the castle. So I think we're gonna use some of our magic marker charges to write charging before we accidentally run out of them. Um, so we'll take out our magic marker. We have 36 charges of that. And we'll take out our blessed scrolls. Just double check I don't have any charging left over. I don't think I do. We do not. So. Definitely write at least one charging sc uh, scroll. Yep. And then do write some identify scrolls. I think we do. I mean, there are other ways we could probably identify these things with uh, our wand of enlightenment, but I just want to get everything identified. Speaking of which, we should probably take out some wands if there's any wands we have that we don't know how many charges they have. There's usually a few here, which we care about, the number of charges, like the digging wands, Usually nice to know how many charges you have left. And I guess one of the speed monster ones. Yeah, that's about it. And we'll read, identify, and hopefully, nope. Keep identifying the rings. Fire resistance, see invisible, cold resistance. Um, See what the we, the blessed spell books we can just read. So let's see what the uncursed spell books are. Oh, spell book of identify. I think is that a level three spell? If it is, we might be able to cast it with our current level of divination. Let's take a look. Spell book of identify. It's level three, and we have, yeah, level three divination we can cast. So actually that is very useful. Um, and it's gonna save us a lot of resources in the long run. So we're gonna go ahead and read that. I think we bless it just so we don't suffer consequences from failing to read it. And we'll want to reread it as well. All right, let's read all these blessed spell books. So we get identify, just double checking. We can cast it with 0% fail, which is great. And we'll read these other blessed spell books. Wizard lock. Um, and detect treasure is interesting. I think that will also allow us to... Oh, that's level four, huh? I mean, it lets us find the vaults. If it acts like a detect treasure 
You know, I don't think it actually acts like um, detect gold. So you can't use it to find the portals on the elemental planes, but it acts more like a potion of uh, object detection. So yeah, for finding bolts, if you wanted to do that. Let's start zapping um, our identify spell here. And we will identify what's left here. So one of our copper spell books is knock. Yeah, it doesn't take that much power either. So um, the gray spell book is cancellation. I mean, these are things that we, we really won't be able to cast. Identify the rest of these things. Uh, too many charges we have left to polymorph. We're out, actually. And the uh, wand of digging. Cool. All right. Yeah, we're definitely using up hunger here. Let's get all these identified while we're while we're at it, and that's it for power. Take some food out and eat it. the slime mold and put some stuff away well so we could continue polymorphing things to try and get, say conflict there's a bunch of rings here still which we don't need we would need to charge our uh, wand of polymorph which would mean we would want to write another scroll of charging let me just see if that's guaranteed. I don't think it is. So charging takes 8 through 15 uh, charges to write. And we're down to 13. So it's like likely that we'd be able to write charging, but not guaranteed. We could we could try and write it first, and then if it, if it fails, um, then maybe we... We stop polymorphing now. Right, so let's write one more squirrel of charging. All right, that worked. And so we're down to four charges left in the magic marker, which isn't really enough to do anything in particular. Because so we could try and get one squirrel of magic map mapping if we're lucky. Uh, just to kind of get the last use out of it. Nope. No lucky. No luck there. So we will put away... Uh, match marker has been charged once, so I believe they cannot be charged again. Um, so that's done. But we have two blessed scrolls of charging. I put one away for safekeeping, and the other one we can read in order to charge our wand of polymorph. And do a little bit more polypiling here with these rings that we've identified. Again, I think we'll do piles of, say, three or four rings. Cold resistance. Adornment, cold resistance, fire resistance, hunger. Um, we could do levitation. Oh, we need. We can do one levitation. We're going to keep the other. Searching, see invisible, shock resistance. Um, and put back my ring of slow digestion back on, and I'm going to go ahead and adjust my ring of levitation to a capital L. What else do we have here? Uh, teleport control and teleportation. Again, a pretty powerful combination. Um, I don't usually mess around with swapping rings around like that. So is it on demand or is it more like teleportitis where it just happens 
occasionally. So it's um it's uncontrolled. So it makes it so you really have to wear both rings and wait. Like if you could uh have controlled teleportation, then I think the combination is pretty useful. Um but we are not gonna get controlled teleportation. So just having to take off our free free action ring and be susceptible to paralysis and have our hunger going down just so we can teleport around occasionally. I think we're going to just reuse these, uh, see if we can get conflict, which is really the other ring we want for our final kit here. Yeah, the last uh, times I have ascended, it's all always been with free action, slow digestion, levitation, and conflict. Dropping those, we can also drop. I think we have an extra spell book, yeah, extra spell book of, of knock. Uh, so that's three piles. I guess we make a fourth one over here, where we'll drop. Um, Cancellation, we're not going to be able to cast Cancellation. That's, uh, I believe, level 5 spell, or 6. Level 7, yeah. It's b well beyond our ability to cast. Um... Knock and Wizard Lock are also of questionable value. Uh, particularly, we have a um, Wand of Digging. There's an interesting thing with Wizard Lock where you can... If you raise a door using a, a Wand of Digging, you can re... You can make the door reappear behind you with Wizard Lock. Um, so it's like specifically I'm thinking about the astral plane. Most, I believe that the things in the astral plane, uh, can generally unlock doors. At least the riders can. I'm not sure about the other priests and angels. Um, but certainly I think you're not safe. Using a locked door, you're not safe from the riders as far as I know. And that's, that's a very sort of, I think at that point, you're just moving forward as quickly as you can. You're probably not casting wizard lock to, to lock doors behind you. So, so I think, yeah, we are gonna try to re-polymorph those spell books as well. Putting a couple of spell books in one space is a little bit risky because if you get a paper to call, I'm gonna lose both, but it's okay, we're not. Um, gonna be too unhappy. So I'll drop wizard lock as well. This uh, kobold dropped eight darts. All right, so we have um, seven charges in polymorph here. Use one of those. Shattering vibrations means you're losing things. So here's a new spell book. Um, invisibility in polymorph. We don't need. Uh, an axe. I don't know why we got an axe. Was that something uh, that we dropped? I'm not sure. Free action is great, but we all already have it. All right, polymorph, invisibility, free action. Here's another spell book we can take a look at. Remove curse we have. It's clerical. And a plain spell book is actually blank. Um, and if it acts like scrolls of paper, then it would, it will never polymorph into something else. It will always just be a plain spell book, if I'm not mistaken. 
All right, um, so we can identify what we've picked up. If we have enough power. Nope, not yet. So let's put away some things. Dart and the axe. And yeah, so one of these is blessed. Fortunately, it's the plain spell look. So yeah, I can try and read it, but it's all blank. We, you know, with a magic marker, we could write, try and write a spell book. I think it's more likely if you have a higher intelligence and are, are a wizard, which we are not. away some of these wands of digging in preparation for the plains of earth so put away everything here except for one we'll keep for escape purposes Emily VSP I mean we probably just wear that right what's the range of that because is it we already have Astral Vision in a range of three. It's within a 10 by 10 grid. So it's actually pretty good, just given that our intrinsic telepathy is, is more difficult to proc wearing our lenses. It's just extra key commands and time to take off our eyes of the overworld and put onto a t put on a towel. Other amulets, of course, would be preferable, um, like the the water breathing amulet or life saving. So we could try and polymorph it again. I certainly would wear life-saving over ESP. Um, it's close, because I mean, being able to see things ahead of time, so you know if there's a creature you should be worried about uh, before, before you have to deal with it can actually save your life as well. Hmm. So I don't know how much power this identify spell takes. Hang out for a minute. I just want to identify these spell books just to see if we want to re-polymorph them. Wait for a little bit. It's a wraith. I gotta remember we can't, uh, or we don't want to eat the wraith because we're maintaining a vegetarian conduct. Oh, just got a luck penalty. I didn't. I forgot we were standing on top of Elbereth and we threw Molnir at that wraith. Terrible. Well, we'll re uh, get our luck back by. sacrificing some things on the altar here. All right. Let's get these corpses sacrificed. While we still can, looking for the four leaf clover here. Not, not yet. All right, dump all this junk. All right, still burdened. 
Can we cast identify yet? Yes. All right, so we want to see what these spell books are. Force bolt. Well, it's actually, let's go ahead and read that. Too faint to read even once. Oh, so this is, um, this is a trouble of polymorphine spell books. And I kind of forgot about this. I believe each time you polymorph a spell book, it acts as if it's been read once. So by polypiling spell books, you're actually reducing their uses, unfortunately. All right, so we, we don't really have any any need for these spell books anymore, um, unfortunately. And we're just going to poly polypile the rest of these rings again. Um, I imagine this remove curse spell book, for instance, is also similar. Just put all these spell books away. Did I read detect treasure? Yes. So I have, uh, it's actually level four. We have fifteen percent chance of failing. Not going to get much better than that. All right. Let's see what other rings we can get here. Levitation, shock resistance. Those are all ones we've seen before. Warning, sustainability, adornment. There's an engagement ring. Let's see what that is. So I clear this up here a little bit. Wargs and dwarves and scroll identify. We don't have a need for that anymore. This work is heavy. Not seeing any luck from the sacrificing here. I believe we have reduced our luck by attacking off of Elberth. Oh, a bunch of killer bees. Would have been it's a very scary th thing to see early on in the game. Gigantic swarm of killer bees, but not too difficult here. So not seeing any four leaf clovers. We can use our wand of enlightenment to try and figure out what our luck is like. Um, all right, let's identify this ring. Plus two ring of increased damage. Um, so we'll re polymorph that as well. And we'll drop some of these scrolls. So like amnesia and identify. down to three piles. We could do more polypiling at the castle, too. Um, I didn't see anything happen there. But I did, we got another ring. We got another Squirrel of Enchant Armor, which is good. And another couple of rings here. Um, can't cast identify yet, but we will go ahead and just keep polypiling. Another couple rings. I think we got the wire ring already. 
and an ivory ring as well. So we drop one of those um, wire rings. Let's wait for a minute, just we can get some more power and uh, cast identify on the rings that we've found already. That's enough to cast identify. So we've found uh, protection. We're not going to use that. It's one of those rings which is good to polymorph yourself into something that can eat it and then get innate protection that way. Should be able to cast again. Ivy ring is increased accuracy, and wire ring is gain constitution. Um, let's we'll see how many charges we have on this. Two. Let's put that away. And we'll re polymorph some of these rings here. Gain constitution we don't need. Um, increase accuracy we don't need. With three Scrolls of Enchant Armor we can bless. And get our AC even lower. Which is nice. Have two more charges in of our polymorph wand here. Just basically going for conflict here. Well, there's no else can sack too. So rather than wasting potentially wasting charges, why don't we grab some tools out of here and see if we can get an oil skin sack out of that. Drop some tools on this end. That's seven piles. Floaty and I, we're still wearing our ring of free action, so. Yeah, not getting any luck, but we might be maxed out still. Can zap our enlightenment wand here and take a look. Um, extremely lucky, we have extra luck. Yeah, so we're we're greater than or equal to ten. So I think I think we're fine. I don't think we lost as much as I thought we might have from attacking off of Elberth. It might just be an alignment penalty, which is not as bad as, definitely not as bad as a luck penalty. Pile of three, pile of three, pile of three. Then we're down to two charges. Yeah. Shuddering vibrations, so we're losing some stuff. Circle of stinking cloud. There's another ring we haven't identified. Whistle, lockpick, oil lamp, oil lamp. Wait for a little bit until you can identify. And let's eat a food ration. So one thing I was thinking about is as far as the vegetarian conduct goes, um, we have this, um, lizard corpse in our inventory. I think it's useful even if you're not going to eat it, but we, what we don't have is any way to prevent being stoned, um, 
by by um, a cockatrice, cockatrice uh, without eating that lizard corpse and losing our conduct. So a potion of acid would would be good, but not very good for hang, uh, holding in your inventory. You want it in your bag so you don't lose it if you step on a fire trap. Uh, something like a, t a blessed tin of like acid blonde meat, for instance, would be um, something you could keep in your inventory. It wouldn't it? Wouldn't necessarily um, be destroyed by by anything. You know, the issue with that, of course, is how long does it take you to open that tin? And can you open it before you turn to stone? It's blessed, and if you have something like a tin opener, then I think it's fine. Poison resistance, okay. Don't need that. Okay, let's see what this other one is. There we go, conflict. Excellent. All right, so we can actually, on our list here, we can mark a couple things off. We got levitation, we got conflict. So we're really just left with a couple nice to have things for the plane of water. So water breathing and an oil skin sack make that particular plane a lot easier and safer. Uh, but clearly uh, we, can, we don't need it 100% of the time. I'm going to actually go to the other side and zap these tools just to see if we can get that oil skin sack here. Towel. There's a tinning kit that's actually very useful in a bag. Um, what if we identify for bags? So we've got some art Let's see. What do we have? Identified. We have a bag of holding, bag of tricks. We have a bag we, which we call the sack. So, an unidentified bag that's not called sack. And I think I identified the sack by price IDing it. This is um, very likely an oilskin sack. We can we can positively identify it. So I think we're done polymorphing rings. We have all the rings that we could possibly want. Let's put this stuff away. The cloak of protection we can put away. Scroll of stinking cloud we can put away. Fire resistance. Um, gain constitution. Poison resistance, shock resistance, and this extra slow digestion we can put away. Um, extra towel we can put away. Maybe two towels. And what are we down to? Let's see here. Bag and a tinning kit. The so tinning kit I just like to have. Um, we can use it to tin, as I was mentioning, a, an acid blob, which may be sort of our vegetarian safe way of preventing being stoned. Also, it's really just kind of useful for dealing with trolls. If you can't eat eat troll corpses, they'll just keep coming back. So being able to tin them and uh, just remove them from the level is very useful. Put away these unlabeled scrolls, put them away into our bag of holding. And... Enlightenment we can put away. Empty polymorph we can put away. Take some stuff back out too. Um, we want a potion of holy water to bless those enchant armor scrolls. And we'll take out some of these wands as well. Can we leave death in there? 
we want our escape. I'm sure, we escape wands. Wands that help us deal with just being slimed or help us escape. The oil lamp we can basically stash. We don't need that anymore. All right. All right, so we are dipping these three enchant armor scrolls into holy water. We'll go to the closet here and uh, selectively um, selectively enchant things. So silver silver dragon scale mail. We can start by enchanting that. Probably the, the Gauntlets of Power, too. And the Robe. Although we may want to make the Robe burn proof as well. Right, so we're down to wearing a uh, Scale Mail and Hawaiian Shirt. It should always uh, enchant the outermost, so we should be safe to read uh, Enchant Armor here. All right, so we're up to plus four on our Silver Dragon Scale Mail. Um, let's wear the robe. Just again, trusting that the outermost um, is going to be the one that's targeted. Let's get confused. So we have a potion. It's, they're in the stash. Uh, potions. Uh, we'll take the a potion of booze. Let's see, we're still just wearing the robe. Okay. So we'll quaff the potion of booze and read a blessed scroll of enchant armor. And now we have, uh, a grease fireproof plus one robe. And we'll read the. We'll wait until we're. Actually, we'll just use our unicorn horn and read the other one. And we will. We're up to a plus two robe. So after putting everything else back on, we're down to negative nineteen. Is that all? Did we lose protection? I thought we had more AC before. Um, maybe not. Maybe we only had negative 14. We're getting there. We're, we're getting closer to what, we, what we're what we looking to have at the end here. We do have a lot of gold. Um, we have 22,000 gold, which should get us uh, a couple more points of protection from the altar in Mine Town. All right, so we've done all this. We've polypiled. Um, we've used our magic lamp. We do want to go to Mine Town to buy protection and look at those spell books in the bookstore. We may have a water oil skin sack already. Let's just go ahead and, and uh, identify that. So let's wait another minute here. And we will identify bag. So, so we have an oilskin sack too, which can be useful on the plane of water. So really we're we're pretty much there, ready to go. Um, so that was pretty much everything I was intending to accomplish and and more. So I'm going to stop here. Um, and next time that I stream, I'm going to go to Mine Town to buy some protection, see what spell books were in the library there, in the bookstore. And 
at that point, we'll be ready to kind of load up everything we need from our stash and head down to the castle. So uh, I'm going to stop for now, but thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.